Remember your steps as you're solving equations. If your equation has fractions, multiply through by the LCD to remove the fractions. If your equation has parentheses, use the distributive property to remove the parentheses. And then we'll use the addition property to move like terms on one side of the equation. For example, variable terms on one side, constants on the other. Make sure you do check, though, to see if you have any like terms that can be combined before that. And then finally, you'll use the multiplication property to solve for your variable. So we'll go through those steps as we solve the next equation. Let's solve this equation. Notice this is an equation that contains fractions. So what is the LCD of these two denominators? It would be 20. So I'm going to multiply the left side of this equation by 20 and the right side of this equation by 20, but by the distributive property, that means we multiply every single term in the equation by 20. So don't forget, it's 20 times 7w over 4 plus 20 times 5 is equal to 20 times 3 w over 10 plus, do not forget, 20 times 1. And now let's see what happens. 4 divides into 20 5 times, and I have 5 times 7w or 35w plus 20 times 5, that's 100, is equal to 10 divides into 20 2 times, and you have 2 times 3w or 6w plus 20 times 1 is 20. Now let's move variable terms to one side, constants to the other side. I will subtract 6w from both sides. So I'm going to rewrite my equation. Leave a little space is equal to 6w plus 20. Now I will subtract 6w on the left side, subtract 6w on the right side. Notice what we have on the left side. We have these two like terms, 35 minus 6, that's 29w plus 100 is equal to, these terms subtract out just like I want, is equal to 20. How do I finish solving? I will subtract 100 from both sides. So here's my left side, 29w plus 100, leave a little space, is equal to 20. I will subtract 100 on the left side, do the exact same thing on the right side. The 100 subtract out and I have 29w is equal to 20 minus 100, that's negative 80. I'll finish solving now by dividing both sides of this equation by the coefficient of w, which in this case is 29. And notice the 29's divide out. w then is equal to negative 80 over 29.